boy. Good girl, give. Good job. Hunting Mern's quail has a romantic effect to it. There's just something about these birds and the mountains they call home. It's like a siren that calls to you as you drown in the lust for one more intoxicating covey rise. If you've experienced hunting Mern's quail, you'll understand what I mean, and if you haven't, hopefully by the end of this video you'll have a better feeling of what makes these birds so magical to an uplander. We've been hiking across some canyons, and finally we come across a covey of birds scattered across this hillside. Right here still. Ember is on point, but I know this is going to be a tough shot as I work my way down a steep grade towards her. I just didn't get my feet set right, and I was behind the bird from the start. The adventure is half the experience on these kinds of trips, and if you hike deep enough into some of these canyons, they can take you into some pretty wild places. This cactus seen on the right is called a choya, and to me it's one of the most unique, coolest plants I've ever seen. But beware of them because the needles are super sharp and the smaller ones can easily be stepped on by a dog, which they do not enjoy. Come here. Ember is on point, and it's almost like deja vu all over again from the last bird, but this time I'm able to circle down and get into a better shooting position to bag our first Merns of the trip. Come on, here, Ember, here. Pebbles. Here. Good girl. Good girl. Give. Good girl. Nice job. Nice. Yep, cool. Oh, man. Something about it. Uh huh. Yep. Cool place to be, hunting birds. Oh yeah, cool birds, great dog birds. <clears throat> the views provided are nothing short of spectacular. Add in a dog on point standing its birds tall and proud, and that's it man. That's what we do it for, a view like this. Miss, hit, it doesn't matter. This is what we're here for. Good job. Here, the bird. The bird. The bird. Dead bird. Good job. Good job, fetch here. Here. Good job, girl. Here. Nice. Good job. 
Good job. Here. Here. Good job. Give. Nice job. Good job, Ember. Some of the neatest birds and coolest birds you will ever find. What a bird. What a place to hunt. Come here. Good job, girl. Good job. Yeti? Yeti. In a place like this, it's easy to stop and get lost in the moment. There's something about these walks that hit different when it's just you, your dog, and the freedom to explore. It's tough to put into words, but it's a feeling that I'm continuously chasing after. It seems like the setting conditions in this area are constantly changing by the hour. There's a lot of variables that go into it, but it seems like sometimes the dogs get a really good grip on where the birds are, and others they really struggle to pin them down. Whoa! As a handler, it makes it tough sometimes to know if the birds are right there in front of the dog or a ways off still. In this case, Yeti was still a long ways off from the birds, and as I walk over the hill, I release him and he does a nice job of relocating on this covey. Yeti. Ah, oh, dang it. Good boy. Come on, Yeti. Quick. Quick son of a guns. I came up empty on that covey rise, but you can usually get back on these birds after you flush the covey, so Yeti and I head in that direction, and not long after he's back on point. Han. Good boy. Another hen. Dead bird. Dead bird, come on. Dead bird. Dead bird. Dead bird. Good boy. Good boy, Yeti. Come on. Good boy, right here. Nice, big, mature male. Give, give. Yeah, you can tell the difference in the mature males. They have such a nicer, cooler mask on them. All right. Nice work. First two birds that got up out of the covey were hens. And then this male got up and was able to connect on him. All right, buddy. Well, let's keep moving on down. Yeti is on point behind this oak tree. 
I'm trying to circle out in front, but before I make it that far, the birds give us the slip and fly out the back door. We follow up on the covey though, Yeti is on point at the top of this canyon and the bird actually gets up behind me. Good boy, Yeti. Heel. Good boy. Give. Nice work. I notice Yeti start to work something as he heads up to the top of this canyon, so my plan is just to sit back, enjoy the show, and see if he can get these birds pinned down. He goes over the rise, stops on point, but the birds get a little jumpy and one flies right over top of me. Whoa! Whoa! Yeti is still standing up top, and I know this can't be the only bird that was up there, so I start making my way to him. Only problem is, I've got to make it up out of this wash, then cross a barbed wire fence, and these birds are already on high alert. I go to cross the fence, set my gun down, and of course right when I do that, two males take flight and fly right past me. Yeti. We head in the direction they flew, and I thought I had a pretty good mark on them where they went down on this hillside, but after searching for a bit, we came up empty. We make our way up top, and Yeti goes on point. Dead bird. Dead bird. Good boy. Good boy. Heel. Heel. Right here. Give. Thank you. Nice work, Kitty. Good boy, heel. Good boy, give, give. 
I ended up with one more bird on this walk that I didn't get on camera, and Yeti's here to make sure he doesn't get away. Come here. Give. Good boy. Deal. Thank you. Nice work, Yeti. You ready? Ask me. Dang it. Good job, girl. Oh, man. I just didn't get my head down. I just didn't get my head down. Whoa! Aspen had a really nice find on the previous covey, but she struggles some here with this one. Whoa! Again, it's crazy how fast sunning conditions can change, and it really shows here even though we are right on top of the covey. Whoa! Whoa! Good job, fat chair. Here, good girl, good girl. Good job, girl, good job. Good girl. Two more hands. Good girl, dead bird. Dead bird. Come on, Ember. Dead bird. Come on. Good girl. Here, dead bird, dead bird, come on, dead bird, dead bird, good girl, fetch here, good girl, nice job girly, nice job. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Ember. Good job, girly. Hey, here. 
Good girl. Nice work, Ember. Nice work. Yeah, I'd been kind of side hilling down this and I started heading back up to the top and she trailed down this way. And as soon, of course, when I get to the top, the dog goes on point and I got to walk all the way back down here, hundred yards, but hey man, for that, you'll take it. That was pretty, about as good as it gets right there, man. Mern's quail are truly an amazing bird to hunt from how tight they hold for pointing dogs, the places they live, and the flat out beauty of the bird. The magic of hunting them is a privilege we're lucky to have. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. At times I think I have more fun putting them together and being able to share the experience with other uplanders. Thank you so much for following along and we'll catch you on the next one. Holy crap, giant covey of merns.